Portsmouth, New Hampshire is an absolutely beautiful place to live with tons of restaurants, great culture, and an awesome art scene. But if you're seriously thinking about moving here, there are definitely some neighborhoods that stand out more than others. And so today we're actually gonna talk about the top three neighborhoods to live in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And if you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Let me introduce myself real quick. My name's Cam Avery. I'm actually a real estate agent with the Avery Realty Group and Keller Williams Coastal Realty. I actually got a sign in the back here that you can see while I'm driving. Uh, but if you're interested in moving to either Maine or New Hampshire, definitely subscribe to the channel because it's all we talk about. So let's get into the video. We're gonna drive around some of the best neighborhoods in Portsmouth so you can see what they're like and talk about them while we do. For our first stop, we have the West End, and while many may consider this as an up-and-coming neighborhood, we feel that it really has already arrived and only continues to get better. It's the only neighborhood in downtown Portsmouth to feature a supermarket and has plenty of new and exciting restaurants and breweries. The West End offers a perfect blend of urban convenience and suburban tranquility. So if you're looking for a family-friendly neighborhood, this might be your dream spot. The West End boasts excellent schools, parks, and a strong sense of community, so we really feel like it's the ideal place for families looking for a safe and welcoming environment. With its tree-lined streets and spacious homes, you'll find a suburban oasis right here in Portsmouth. In terms of drawbacks of the West End, you are a bit further away from Market Square, and so walking to the heart of Portsmouth may be a 15 to 20 minute stroll rather than a five minute walk that some of the other neighborhoods may offer. Also, there are some streets on the West End that are quite close to Route 95, and so road noise could be louder there. Although, if you plan to live in downtown Portsmouth, you're going to get road noise no matter where you end up. Finally, the West End features some great restaurants like Street, Cornerstone Pizza, and Cafe Espresso, and boasts some arts and culture features like the Portsmouth Music and Arts Center and the New Hampshire Theater Project. If you're seriously considering Portsmouth, the West End will not disappoint, and there are a number of new condo developments happening here right as we speak. Now let's move on to our second pick, the Little Harbor neighborhood, a peaceful semi-waterfront haven that's perfect for those seeking a serene lifestyle. This neighborhood offers a tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of city life, set just on the outskirts of downtown, yet Market Square is easily reachable by foot, bike, or car. Little Harbor is a dream come true for those who appreciate being close to the water, yet still part of the community in Portsmouth. The Piscataqua River and the Little Harbor Marina make this neighborhood a paradise for boating enthusiasts. You can launch your boat or just enjoy leisurely walks along the shoreline. Also, the Wentworth Coolidge Mansion is a famous place to visit and a great place to walk. But it's not just about the waterfront here. Little Harbor has a tight-knit community feel. Local events and farmers markets bring neighbors together, and speaking of markets, the charming shops and restaurants in the area offer plenty of dining and shopping options. Also, Little Harbor School is one of the nicest private schools in the area, which makes it a top choice for us when it comes to the best neighborhoods in Portsmouth. In terms of drawbacks to the Little Harbor neighborhood, we'd have to say that most of the homes are quite close together here, and so if you're looking for a larger lot and yard, you most likely won't find it in the Little Harbor neighborhood. However, there are some incredible high-end neighborhoods that would offer this here as long as your budget can reasonably accommodate a price point of 1.5 to 3 million. Hey, I wanted to let you know that if you're seriously considering moving here, we actually created a complete relocation guide. You can download it totally for free just by clicking the link right in the description below. Finally, and maybe we save the best for last, is the South End, a neighborhood that effortlessly blends history, culture, and modern living. This area is known for its beautiful Victorian-era homes, tree-lined streets, and vibrant art scene. The South End offers a unique mix of historic architecture and contemporary amenities. Strolling through its charming streets feels like a step back in time. You'll find cozy cafes, art galleries, and boutique shops around every corner. And if you love the waterfront, you're in luck because it's just a short stroll away. The South End is home to a number of historic sites and attractions, including Strawberry Bank, the Wentworth Gardner and Tobias Lear Historic Houses, the Governor John Langdon House, the Gardens of Prescott Park, and the recreational area on Pierce Island. Many of the homes in the South End are part of the city's historic legacy and offer incredible access to downtown and beautiful water views of the river. In terms of drawbacks to the South End, because most of the homes are historic, that means they are old New England homes and come with all of the drawbacks that old New England homes have. 
Also, the historic district in Portsmouth is very strict when it comes to making alterations to your home and you would need approval from them to do so. If you're looking for modern and new, you can definitely get it here, but it's going to cost you and most likely will be a major renovation and inconvenience to do so unless you find the home that's already been renovated. I hope you got something out of the video today about the neighborhoods in Portsmouth. And if you're still interested, make sure to watch this video right here talking about Portsmouth and why it's America's best small city.